I'm Stacy Olson. And Larissa Elder. And so I'm here at this uh, Treasure Finders where they're having the kickoff of a $50,000 combination. I don't know what it is. Prizes, money, treasure. I'm not sure what it is. But uh, you guys are here and you have found, I guess these treasures have been going on for a while and you guys have found some before. Tell me, tell me about that. Well, they started doing these treasure hunts last summer. And um, how'd you find out about them? I saw an ad on Facebook. So the first one they did, I, I did it with my husband. He's a teacher. And so we were, he was, he was home for the summer. And so we tried it out and we got really close. We, I mean, we, we were in the right spot. We just didn't find it. Um, and then he had to go back to school. So I recruited Larissa <laughs> to help me out with the next one. And that one, we actually ended up winning. You found it. <laughs> we mm -hmm. found it. We found it. It was, it was up Provo Canyon in uh, a park up there. So tell me about what the clues, what, what, how, how you got there, what were the clues that got you there? And, and Okay, so there was, we knew there was a fire pit. We knew there was a path. We knew there was running water. Um, we knew there were... We knew it was up Provo Canyon because yeah. of the, the clue that said you could see the city from between... Oh, oh yeah, shape. yeah. There was like a V. A V shape. A V yeah. shape with 10,000 plus. Anyways, um, so we figured it was up Pro Provo Canyon and then we, we actually ended up doing this one hike. It was the wrong one and it was super steep and we did it like... I, I think too, she did it many times. I think she did it four or five and I did it like seven and it's really a hard hike. And then um, we got a clue that said um, it was like um, if you're looking for adventure, don't turn at low city. Um, and there is a business up there called High Adventure. Um, it's like a rafting river rafting. And so, okay, we figured it was like the opposite since it was high adventure. Don't turn it, close, then you, you were supposed to turn it. Anyways, <laughs> so we, we ended up finding it. Well, first, we dug up a coffin on accident while we, up while there. We, while we were narrowing it down <laughs> to the right yeah, area. Yeah, because there's a, there's a park up there called Big Springs Hollow, and it has the path and the fire pits and the river. And so we went up there, and we counted the paces that we were supposed to um, count. And then we found like this pile of stones that we knew, like you could see that they had been moved from other locations to this pile. And we were like, oh my gosh, this is it. So we move the stones and we dig and we pull it, we find this box and it's got like scalloped edges and like the nails and the holding the lid on. You're thinking this is the treasure? We, well, well we I got a bad feeling. Until it was nailed. <laughs> until it, was nailed we didn't. it didn't look like the one that the Davises found. So I was like, I just, I have a bad feeling about this. And I was like, I'm not going to open it because I don't know if this is right. So we contacted Abe yeah. and we were like, Abe, is this the one you buried? And he was like so standoffish, like he would not straight up answer the question and he wanted us to open the box. And I was like, Abe, if this is somebody's, because it was like the size of a shoebox. I was like, if this is somebody's murdered infant that they hid up the canyon, you know, I don't want to be the one to open it and get haunted for the rest of my life. I was like, no way! <laughs> so finally, he, he finally admitted that it wasn't, and so we reburied so, so he, it. <laughs> he couldn't really divulge clues. No, no, clues, right. So he really couldn't right. tell you if it right. was or it wasn't. Or right, and so we were like, okay, bury it quick. Like, so, so how do you know it was in it then? Um, we actually ended up calling the police. I have a friend that's a cop, and I asked him if I should report it, and he was like, yes. So we did, and they actually already knew that it was there. It's a dog that somebody buried in this park. You know, we're supposed he. It's his happiest place, maybe. I don't know. So they <laughs> they buried the dog there, and we. So we didn't actually end up opening the box, but the box. But the cops knew that it was. They knew it existed. Other people. Other people have yeah. dug it up looking yeah. for treasure. I guess. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, poor puppy. <laughs> Can't rest in peace. <laughs> so yeah, we found. So we found that one up there. Um, and then the next one we found, um, there was a couple that we didn't win, and then... So, so wait a minute, you found... Tell me about finding that one. I mean, now you, you yeah, found oh, the dog. Oh, it was, it was really intense. So, well, we, so we, we, had, we had clues that led us to a park near the one that we found yeah. the dog in. And 
we narrowed it we narrowed it down but we also we had to get the secret clues though that was like a big yeah. a big help so once we got the secret clues we we knew it was in this one park and we went back there it was in the evening and so we we hiked back the, the number of paces that the clues told us to go and we were looking all over and we knew there was supposed to be a letter p and so we were looking for this letter p and there was like this thing of logs that was it looked kind of like a p but it was like a, a was backwards. backwards and so we, we kept looking and it was getting dark and we were like okay we need to go home to our families because we both have big families yeah. and we were neglecting our children right so <laughs> <laughs> so we were like we need to go home and then so we quit that night and we went home, we started driving home and i was like larissa read the clues one more time and we started reading so them. she started reading through them and one of them said the the captain sees clearly only upon reflection or something like that and was, i was like <gasps> yeah it was the word reflection <laughs> like it is the it's backwards that backwards p. p so i like flipped a very dangerous ue <laughs> <laughs> and started racing back up the canyon and it was dark by this time it's dark and and we, we had a flashlight and a shovel <laughs> yeah and we had we had headlamps and so we um raced back there and we got stuck behind this really slow driver and I was like swearing at him and, <laughs> and, then, and then we get back to this park and it's packed like every parking College. spot is full yeah. and all the fire pits all are the full, fire pits are full and like we have to go barging through all these groups of people that are out there partying with, with our shovel, shovel. <laughs> and we get back there to this pee where the and luckily no one was at that last yeah. fire pit it was the last one and we're sitting there in the dark and we start like digging and digging and we can't find it we could not find it and we dug a lot of holes i was looking for ground that had been disturbed already but it was like all hard like it had never been dug and i was like i can't figure this out and so finally like i gave the shovel to larissa i was like i'm i think i'm done i don't know what to do like we knew so the one of the clues said it was supposed to be where the lines where the parallel meet oh, lines yeah. meet the vertical yeah so we but we dug there and couldn't find it so i gave the shovel to her and she started digging at the top of that p and i was like just sitting there with this garden trowel poking at the first hole we had started and it was just solid 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 and then i poked the side of it and it was soft uh, and i was like uh, uh, uh. and then i i pick up this clod of grass and dirt and it, it was just like it was like clump. this big and i just lifted it like a lid yeah and i was like larissa get over here with the shovel so she comes in brings the shovel and and she dug in and hit like the the box and so we dug it up and it was pitch black and we were like screaming at each other and <laughs> <laughs> we, we were real video of it yeah, yeah we do we have a video and it was I like okay it was like really like the adrenaline just hits you you know it's, and you start shaking really hard and you can't see anything it's like pitch black okay now we've got a picture Oh my gosh! <laughs> Where'd it go? Did we lose it? No, I hit it again. I just. It's right here. Okay. I wish. I see it. Look, look, there's white. Oh my gosh, Larissa. <gasps> look, look. <laughs> Guys, look, it's pitch black. It's pitch black. Ever in the dark, digging up treasure. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, should we do it with the trowel now? Yeah, I yeah, think okay. it's easier with the trowel. Here, you take these. Okay. Hold, shine them right there in that hole. Uh, okay. 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 That's it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm not even using the trowel. I'm just going to use my hand. Give me the trowel. Oh, well, that was that. One. Brush hit me. Sorry. Here, we're going to get it out. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <gasps> Look! Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it! Look, a 
Okay, wait. Now I need the screwdriver. 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 Look, okay. can you shine your light on your face so I can see you? Are you happy? So happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. It's hard to do this one handed. Okay. Prop up the phone or something. Oh, see, now the shakes are setting in. Oh my gosh. Okay, shine it on this box. Oh, see, I'm shaking so bad. <laughs> Look, a treasure box. Open it, Larissa. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Show me what's in there. It's so heavy. <gasps> oh, <honey>! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, read with I can't read. Okay. okay. That's what okay. it says. Okay, what's that say? This is so freaking I'm awesome. shaking so bad. Okay. Oh, hey, you meet. You be the finder of Blackbeard's treasure of silver medallions. The value be that of $4,000. Call Admiral Abe to let him know you found the treasure. Abe will give you 4000 in cash in exchange for the treasure, or you can keep the silver. But please call Abe to let him know the treasure can be found. Abe also has a bonus for you. Call Abe. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh we gotta do selfies. Okay, I'm ending the video. Okay. Bye. We're rich. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really intense one. It was so fun. It was so fun. So what was in it? It was Gold um, coins. Uh, silver coins. Silver coins. A hundred yeah. silver coins. In a treasure chest. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it was so exciting. I still it makes me shaky thinking about it because so, so, and in, in your, in your family, uh -huh. you're just telling me that your family was involved in the Guadalupe mine. So, you're yeah. a treasure hunting girl. Well, <laughs> I've never actually looked for that mine, but I would like to someday. <laughs> you know, I might be able to find it. So, so then you found another one of these besides yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, we Tell found the most, the most recent one uh, we found in... It was a Christmas theme. March? March. February. February. It was February, February. yeah. So it was a Christmas themed one and they switched their clue style. So it was a lot more difficult for it was, us. It was harder because it wasn't, we were used to the clues from that first hunt and now they switched the, the tone of the Yeah, clues. and it ended up being at the University Place Mall. And we actually went there in like the, this, that treasure hunt started in November and we went there before Christmas in December. Cause it was like, there was nothing that fit. And I was like, this is the only place that has to have all these things that the clues were telling us about. So we went and we looked and we didn't find anything. Um, and so we just kept working on getting more clues and it was just, we were really, really puzzled. And then in February, I was like, let's just go look at that mall again. And because, I, oh, I had been, I was falling asleep and I was, you know how your brain makes connections when you're falling asleep? Um, there was one clue that said, which way to the orchard? Um, and there's a little playground park up by that mall that's called The Orchard. And we knew that, but I remembered that when I was in that mall, I had seen a wooden street type sign that said orchard and it like pointed towards that okay. park. Yeah. And I was like, I've seen that. You know, I, I know what that clue is referring to. So we went back to the mall and um, we found that street sign and it wasn't fitting any of the clues. So we, um, we were, you know, looking around trying to figure stuff out and we decided to go down this other wing. I was like, maybe there's another street sign down this other wing. So we went and we found it and then we found there was like an easy relaxation place, which was one of the clues. And there was, um, oh, what was the other thing that was down there? Oh, so the, the easy relaxation store. There was a closed playground for kids. And um, so we knew that it was in that corner. And so we start looking and, and we were looking for like a sticker in a window and we looked all over the place and we couldn't find it and couldn't find it. And again, we were sure we had the right hallway. Yeah, but it just wasn't like quite fitting. And um, we finally decided that we were going to leave because we only had a certain amount of time. We had to get back to our kids again. 
Um, and then I noticed that there was these big steel X's on the wall. Um, and one of the clues was, that it was might behind. come before Moss, but it's the backside that counts. And I was like, Xmas. Oh, so I was like, Larissa, let's check these big steel X's. And so we went and looked behind them, and there was just like a gap that's this big behind them between the wall and the X. And on the one that I looked at, I could see this like thin black line that didn't look, I mean, there wasn't anything there, but on the back of the X, there was just this thin black line. And I reached back and I touched it and it was this magnet that pulled out and, it's, and it was like, if, if you found this, to, to text, to text the, the, these numbers, and you had to text like a certain a phrase, code word, a code word. Clues, right? So we texted them and, and, that, and then they came and paid us. <laughs> another, another, how, well, that one was $3,000. The first one was 4000 and the second one was 3000 Wow. So yeah, it was really That's fun. That's awesome. So was your heart pounding? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, I do not handle adrenaline at all. <laughs> I shake so bad. And so when I find them, I'm like, I need to sit down. I can't breathe. You know? <laughs> That's awesome, and thank you for sharing your story with us. You're welcome. That's, it, man. That's a wrap.